Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to hop on really quick, um, just for a few minutes, um, and say just a few things. So, um, yeah, I gotta pick up my coffee. So, the narcissist, it is just a gorgeous day out. I just had to get on for a little bit. Um, I'm just out doing a little shopping. But, yeah, the narcissist... The narcissistic male wants to be the baddie. Yeah, he wants to be the baddie. He thinks he's better than you as a woman in the relationship. Yeah, he thinks he's better than you. And he's competing with you in his mind secretly. He's competing with you. A real man does not compete with a woman. He doesn't. The narcissistic male is in a competition with you. Um, he's in a competition with you for, um, he's trying to, you know, downplay your beauty. He, um, every narcissistic male that's abused me has tried to downplay my beauty. I, bitch, I know I'm fabulous. Bitch, I know I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful as fuck. And I do not downplay myself anymore or my beauty. The narcissistic males have constantly tried to downplay my beauty because they were competing with me. They wanted to be a baddie, like me, like who I am. Nah, bitch, nah. There can be only one, and it's not you, bitch. And these narcissistic males are constantly competing with you, constantly. Mm -mm. No, not today, Satan, not fucking today. Mm -mm. No, the narcissistic man is in a competition with you. He wants to be badder than you. He wants to be the baddie. Hang on a second, you guys. Let me take these off for a second because I'm about to go in the store. Give me a second. Anyway. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that shit. You know what I mean? Fuck it. You know, a lot of people come on my channel and they say, oh, you know, you, uh, you swear a lot. You know, you curse a lot. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I am angry about all this shit, and, and I have every right to be. I should be, because these weasels, these underhanded, cowardly little turds, yeah, bastards, turds, frauds, imposters, were trying to compete with me. They were jealous of me in a relationship. What kind of straight man is jealous? I mean, 100% straight man is jealous of a woman that he's with. What kind of, what straight man? I don't know any. Can you guys tell me? I don't know one. <laughs> Not on this planet. See, confident males, secure males that are secure in their masculinity do not feel the need to compete with a woman, with a beautiful woman that's on their arm. They don't feel the need to compete with her. And this is what a lot of people cannot get through their skulls. They can't get this through their thick skulls. They, they think, oh, well... He's just insecure and, um, you know, you need to coddle him. Nah, who, what the fuck? Why would I coddle somebody like that? Like, no. See, males are already coddled enough in our, in the patriarchal world we live in, okay? Constantly, they get a little boo-boo and it's like everybody's up in arms, okay? You know, women are expected to bear the brunt of all the pain and shit in society and just nobody bats an eye at it. Oh, well, it's just a woman. Women are designed to take pain, right? It's bullshit. It's constant bullshit. But yeah, anyway, back to the competition thing. The narcissist wants to be a baddie. He wants to be you, bitch. Yeah, that's why he's competing with you. And you deserve better. You deserve better than him. And he knows it. He knows that you deserve better than him. He knows it. But he needs to convince you that you're not worthy of better treatment. So he wants to drag you down to his trifling ass level, his insecure, toxic ass level. He wants to drag you down to his level, his insecure level, because um, then he can feel better about himself. Nah, don't that you don't water yourself down for anybody on this planet. Never, never ever water yourself down for anybody. I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. I don't care how much you care about them. I don't care how much you love them. I don't care about any of that. You gotta hold on to yourself. You cannot water yourself down for anybody. Nobody on this planet um, deserves you sacrificing yourself like that. You know what I mean? 
to make yourself small. There's so many women in this world that make themselves small for a man. For what? For what? And then in the end, they just end up, you know, getting played anyway. They end up getting, you know, um, cheated on, abused, and played anyway. And, you know, they, they've made themselves small for a man. They've downplayed their careers. They've downplayed their degrees. They downplay how much money they make and make themselves small in comparison to him so he can feel like the man in the relationship. Nah, nah, why the fuck are you doing that for? For what? For what? Because in the end, it's not going to matter anyway. He's going to treat you how he's going to treat you. It's what a lot of women don't understand. They need to they need to compute this. They need to let this sink in, you know? But yeah, it's bullshit. It's all the male ego. And he's going to try and drag you down to his level. He's not going to want you to be doing better than him if you're in a relationship with him. That's why, you know, we, we, we women, we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. We don't give the bus driver a chance. You know, we're classist. We give him a chance and he abuses the fuck out of us because we're doing way better than him in life. But by better, I just mean, you know, on a career level, we're way more successful. You know what I'm saying? And then we get abused. You know, the man puts his hands on us and physically abuses us. Then men tell us, oh, you should have chose better. You choose wrong. You choose bad. Like we women, we just cannot win at all in this oppression, oppressive society. We just can't. We can't. And yes, we are victims. We are. We don't even, we can't even begin to wake up to the level of victimhood where we've been under for all our lives, you know, living in this society. It's like a matrix. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like a matrix that you wake up from and it's really, the reality is too, too harsh. Like you don't, you don't want to wake up to it because it's too much to process. Like it's too much to handle. You know what I mean? Like, like waking up to it is, it's almost like you can't handle it. Like you can't process it. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it really sucks. But in that regard, um, Like I'm saying, um, you know, just, yeah, you, you shouldn't have to make yourself small, water yourself down, water down your opinions, not speak what's on your mind. Don't ever do that for anyone. I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is. Don't ever do that because that's what the narcissist does. They want to erase you and erase your personality. They want to get you to water yourself down for them. Don't ever do it. Fuck that. Get the fuck out of there. If anyone ever tries to get you to downplay your personality, the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you operate, mm -mm, you got to get rid of them because they're just going to be standing in the way of you rising to the top. They're going to be standing in the way of all your blessings that God has for you. But anyway, I got to take off you guys. I'm going to do some shopping and I will talk to you guys.